Hello to our new safety training video. In this video I show you how to set up a project with an emergency stop and reset this emergency stop with a button. I want to create an emergency stop in the LaSalle safety designer. Therefore we use the safety training system. The emergency stop is connected to the SDM081. I want to set the green light. This is connected to the STO081. The reset button is connected to the SDI101. To create the emergency stop project, you open the LaSalle Safety Designer and go to File, New Project. Set as project name Emergency Stop. Set a location for the project and click on OK. At first I want to upload the hardware, so you go to the Change Online Settings and select the already created station. Click on OK. Then you click on the online symbol to go online. This opens a window. This window is the revision documentation. At first you set up your company and your name for the author. With insert you get a new line and you can enter the describing text for description. Next step is to click on OK. Then you are online and able to upload the hardware. So you go to the hardware tree, click with right click on emergency stop and choose accept online hardware tree. So the hardware is uploaded. Open the project name with the plus. In there is the PLC. Open this with the plus and there is the safe CPU. Next to the safe CPU you see all the different safety modules. We need the hardware and the network for the safety project. So you go offline and go to the project tree. In the project tree you can open the project name with the plus. There you see the safe CPU. So you create a network with right click new network and call it emergency stop net. Open this network with a double click or the enter key. We need a function block for the emergency stop, so you go to the function block tree and open the folder Complex Function Blocks. In the folder there is the block SF underline emergency stop. Put this with drag and drop to the network. The emergency stop has an activate. Therefore we use the constant bool from the function blocks. Put it with drag and drop on the network. Set the constant pool to true to set it permanently on active. For the e stop in we need the hardware. So you go to the hardware tree to the module SDM081. Choose input 1. Because of having a cross circuit detection we need input 2. So you drag input 2 directly over input 1. This gives you a new function block. Click on this block and set it to the properties. Function block to SF equivalent. To set the cross circuit detection you go to the point cross circuit detection and set A for input 1 and B for input 2. Set the discrepancy time. Connect the inputs to the e-stop in. For start reset you use a save bool and set it to true. For auto reset you take another save bool and set it to false because we want the emergency stop to be resetted. 
The reset button is connected to the SDI 101 input 5 and input 6. Therefore we pull like for emergency stop input 5 and input 6 over each other. Set again the cross circuit detection and set the function block to equivalent. Input 5 is A and input 6 is B. Don't forget to set the discrepancy time. To connect the safe inputs to the unsafe reset, you go to the function blocks, to the folder logical and drag the safe bool to bool to the network. Connect the inputs to the S in and the out to the reset. To switch off the green light when there is an emergency stop, you go to the hardware tree and take from the STO081 the safe output 3. Drag this one to the output side. Connect the safe output 3 to the emergency stop out. To delete unused columns, you do a right click on the column and choose delete column. Have you set everything up? You can go online. You get again the revision documentation of emergency stop. Insert a new entry and type in a new description. Press OK. Another window opens which show you the resources of your safe CPU. Here you can click on OK. Now we are in the online state window. You have to log in first. So you choose the button log in. The standard password is 123456. Have you set the password? You can click on log in. If you are logged in, you have to switch to the service mode. If you have never downloaded the project to the control, the download button is active without the service mode. Click on the download button. For downloading, you have to confirm the safety number. The safety number is printed on your safe CPU. Compare this number to the number which shows you in the LaSalle safety designer. If these numbers are the same, you can click on confirm safety number. So the download button is active and you can download the project. Is your project loaded? You get a window where you can compare the project with the hardware. Click on OK. If the download is finished, you can click on Set Configured and Finished. To start the project, you go to the running mode and select Start. You should see that the green light is on. Go back to the network. Here you can see all the signal states. If you press the emergency stop, the green light turns off. Turn the emergency stop back and reset it with the red reset button.